what is going on guys welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite user interface integrations and that is how to create a sliding card ui so basically what you see here we've got our three cards that we can swipe through and of course i just picked a dog a cat and a bird uh, more interesting is we can tap on it and it has this really cool looking swipe up into view animation. We can have a title in here, some text about it. We can swipe it down and we can go to the next card, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see we've got a title for this controller itself. We've got a uh, little subtitle here for it as well, some text. And personally, this UI really resembles uh, like a profile of sorts. Uh, if you're fami familiar with any type of dating app, um, there's usually like a profile picture here, the person's name and some bio. So it's a really nifty UI to present uh, a lot of cool things, movies, photos, basically anything you could think of. So we're going to look at how to put this together. Um, that said, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me make more videos for all of you. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, let me stop mumbling on, and let's get into the video. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles, at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by creating a new Xcode project. And we're gonna stick with our single view application template Let's call this project My Sliding Cards, save it to our desktop, and let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is import the framework that lets us create this card slider UI, and that framework is called Card Slider. So we're going to bring it in with CocoaPods. That said, open up your terminal, and let's cd into the project, do a pod in it, and after it's initialized, we want to open up the newly created pod file with a open pod file. And here we want to bring in the card slider pod. So let's get rid of this. Type in pod, and it's card slider lowercase p. Let's close text edit and run pod install. And if you don't have Cocoa Pods installed, uh, I've got a separate video going over what they are, how to get them set up. So take a look at that. Otherwise, you can follow along and the line we care about is the green installation message right here. So once it has successfully installed, you can go ahead and close your Xcode window with a command W. And we wanna open up the project name dot xc workspace and before we hit command r let's just expand the xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work all right cool so we are going to be doing everything in terms of the card slider itself with code and for the purposes of a demo we'll have a button on the main view controller that we tap to present it so that said, before we implement any of that, select the simulator, hit the run button, and make sure things are still compiling post CocoaPod installation. And you should see a empty app pop up on your simulator and run like so. Cool, now that's running. So let's create that button I just mentioned. So we're gonna create an IB outlet and we'll call it my button like so. Let's set up its appearance to have a blue background color, which is link. And we'll also set its title color to be white for the normal state. 
and we're also going to add a function for the button and it'll be did tap button and in here we're going to basically present the card slider and we'll implement that in a second but before we do that head on over to the main.storyboard in here you can simply grab a ui button drag it onto your controller drop it in come down here to add some constraints we're going to say 100 from the top 20 20 from left and right and the height will be 55 don't forget to connect your outlet and ib action so my button to the button and did tap button to the button and we want touch up inside and let's also go ahead and change the title of this to be uh, show card slider hit command r to build and run just to make sure that the button is showing up like so and of course when we tap it nothing happens uh, that said let's look at the card slider itself so to begin uh, we need to imp import the card slider framework so import card slider and the three things that are important about this framework are as follows there is a protocol called a uh, card slider item i believe and we're going to create a struct called item and have it conform to the card slider item and this item basically defines the minimum properties needed to create an item you'll get this error here so you can click this and hit fix and basically this struct will stub out all of the properties that this protocol requires let's get rid of these extra uh, line breaks so this is the first important piece of the framework the next important piece is uh, a view controller needs to supply the data source for these cards so we're going to have this controller conform to card slider data source and there are two required functions in here as well. Hit this to open up the error and click fix. And it's such a pet peeve of mine that Apple sticks the functions up here when they add them. So let's move these to the bottom. And the two functions, uh, one of them returns the number of items in your card slider. And the other one actually returns the specific card slider, slider item which is uh, this struct in our case. So let's go ahead and create a uh, var variable, create a var that is data, and it's gonna be a, an array of this type of item. And we can actually even say uh, that this is an array of item. And in view to load, we are going to basically append into the data array uh, an item. And if we initialize it, you'll see that we get the autocomplete for all the things that this card uh, item protocol expects. So basically an image, uh, a rating, which we'll keep as nil, a title, a subtitle, and a description. So let's say title, uh, bookmarks, subtitle, uh, get excited about bookmarks, description, you can add bookmarks in the app now. For the image, we're going to use a system image called bookmark, and we're going to also need to uh, put a exclamation point at the end of this to force unwrap the image because the property expects the parameter to be non-optional. So if you hit command B, you'll still have some errors because we haven't finished these functions here. For number of items, we wanna return the number of items in data. So return data.count. And to return the actual item, we wanna return in the items array, the item at that index sorry, in the data array, uh, the item at that index, and we know the data array, uh, and hopefully these errors go away if you hit Command-B, like so, uh, and we know the data array is an array of item, 
an item is a struct here, which conforms to this protocol, which is the same thing that this function um, wants as a return value. So now that this is set, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. Uh, and we'll, we'll change this up in a second after we make sure it's working. Uh, now you might be thinking, what's the third piece and how the heck do I actually present this card user interface, this card slider? So again, the first piece was this item struct. Second piece was conformed to the data source. And the third piece is basically just presenting the actual card slider. So to do that, what we want to do is get the data source, rather cast the controller as a data source. So guard let data source is self as card slider data source else return. And then we're going to create the view controller, which is a card slider view controller. And we're going to initialize it uh, without any of these. So uh, like so. And then we're going to say VC dot data source is data source. Uh, and I think you can actually even get away with saying data source is self because we've conformed up here to the data source um, in the in the view controller declaration. So you might be able to get away with this not being here actually. And let's also give this a title. So let's say the title of this is welcome. And finally, let's present this view controller animated true. And I think that should do it. So let's hit command R. Hopefully everything builds. And when we hit this, you'll notice we actually crash. So let's figure out what the heck we did to have this crash. So let's stop this. And let's look at our console down here. It's saying optional value, card slider view controller. All right, so it seems like we need to create the card slider view controller with a different initializer. So let's go back here and try to figure out what we did wrong. So actually, I think I know what we're doing wrong here. Instead of initializing this controller this way, I believe there is a static width. Uh, yeah, this is what we need. We need to call this static function and pass in self as the data source this way. And we can get rid of the data source assignment like so. And that bottom error should go away. And before we start celebrating, let's hit command R to build and run and make sure we can present our card slider. You'll notice that the images over here are super tiny. And this is actually an iOS 13 bug. So to fix that, we need to set the view controller's modal presentation style to be full screen. So do that and hit Command R. And we'll see now that these images are nice and big. We can click it and it expands like so. And it looks like there's an issue where the other card is behind it because of transparency. But what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in an image of our own. Uh, I grabbed a random dog image from the internet beforehand. So head to your assets, create a new image set for a dog, and drag in your image. And go back to the view controller. Let's close, rather expand the window again. And update your image to not use a system image and rather use an image named, and it's gonna be named dog. This is named, this is named as well. Update these all to be dog. And hit Command R one more time. And let's see what this looks like in action. So let's hit this. We've got our dog. We can tap it. It has this really nice zoom in animation. We've got the title here. We've got our description text here. And uh, this is basically the card UI. You can swipe the card to go down and we can go to the next card. 
So right now, all these cards, all three of these are the same, which is why when we flip, it looks like nothing happened. But hopefully you guys can visually discern that the card is flipping. And this is a really good user interface for uh, having the user flip through cards. Uh, you can think of something like movie posters or albums or a what's new screen, things like that. Uh, and of course, in the, in the description, you can also have much more text. Uh, this actually also reminds me personally of something like a dating app where you would have the user's profile picture here, their name, little bio. This kind of reminds me of Tinder for some reason. But uh, anyways, that's how you set up this really cool looking card slider user interface. So that said, if you haven't liked the video already, make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so we can grow this community together. Uh, thanks again for watching. Comment if you've got questions or any feedback, suggestions. I'll catch you guys in the next video.